Welcome back to another week of tennis practices. Let's begin right away with our warm up. With our hands swinging and our arms swinging on our side and lifting our knees, we're going to complete 10 seconds. All right, pumping our arms and lifting our knees, skipping. All right, now higher our knees at the waist level. If you put the racket or your hands in front of you, you have to touch it with your knees. All right? That's it. Okay. Breathe. If you jump for uh, 10 seconds, let's say, you're going to breathe for 30 seconds. Okay? After skipping, we're going to perform our jumping jacks or star jumps. Star jumps are like this. All right? And jumping jacks are like this. You choose. Same. Jump 10 times and then breathe and rest for 30 seconds, okay? So our heart rate is going up, our, uh, our heart is pumping and it's laughing and it's getting ready for the tennis session, okay? So now, on one foot, we're going to hop to the front and backwards, all right? Switch. Then sideways, working on our leg strength and balance, sideways. And after that, if you have a tennis racket, do it with your tennis racket. If you don't have it, do it with your hand, okay? We're going to bounce, catch, and you can also dribble. Dribble means that you're going to pump your arm downwards without catching it, and you have to keep it under control. If you have the racket, it's similar, you have to bounce it towards the floor, okay? Now let's try it upwards, toss and catch, toss and catch, you can also try it with two hands, toss and catch, and then try to strike it upwards, see? It involves visual striking, eye-hand coordination, force, you have to measure the force, alright? and. Try with, with the racket on the control. All right? Try with one hand, your dominant hand like Mr. Fernando, then change and try with your other hand. Always try to practice with both hands. If it's too difficult, you can hold it with your left and your right hands and keep it on the control. Then let's switch. Okay? Look at my feet. I'm not moving my feet at all. I'm always in the spot. Now that we have controlled the ball, total control of the ball, we're going to move on. Is it clear? So, the next activity involves eye-hand coordination and eye-feet coordination. Okay? I'm going to bounce the ball and jump at the same time. I'm working on my rhythm skills. See? I'm bouncing on the ball of my feet and the ball is bouncing on the ground at the same time. This is not easy at all, but it's worth trying it. It's going to help you build on your um, eye-hand coordination, on your confidence, and you're going to uh, feel better when you get to play. Why? Because now you know how to hit the ball, how to strike the ball, and always feel that you can control. So, now that we have the wall here, we're going to, again, practice our forehand. If you're right-handed, and your backhand if you're left-handed. Same on the other side. Your forehand if you're left-handed, and your backhand if you're left-handed. Remember that you can also hit a backhand with one hand. It is not that common at your age, but you can try it. If you're left-handed, you hit it with one hand. It is as if you're throwing a frisbee, but instead of throwing a frisbee, you have the racket and the ball. All right? Give it a try. I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it. Once that you have plenty control of the ball and the wall at the same time, then we're going to try something new. All right? 
This time, we have to hit the ball and try to catch it between our feet, all right? This is a short challenge, but it's pretty fun. You're going to hit the ball, and then you have to move. Oh, it is not easy. Let's try again. Hit the ball, move, and catch. It's similar to pirate catch, the game that we played a few weeks ago, in which you have to hit and catch, but this time, you need to move your feet even more. Hit the ball, and catch. Maybe with our backhand. All right? Now that we have tried many skills and different type of challenges, we're going to introduce our service, okay? So as you know, we have to sit down on our knees, lift our arm, raise our arm, and serve. But now we're going to try to hit it, and then stand up and play. Hit! Reaction time. One, two, three, and stop. Let's try it again. Kneeling down, hit. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's a new record. Always trying to improve our record and trying to hit more balls in a row. And to finish, we're going to play a last game, okay? With our partner or with the wall, we're going to play a tennis game. But this time, we're going to play as a team. So we have to serve, right? And we have to pass 10 balls in a row. If we score 10, then we score a point as a team. It's a cooperative game. All right, we're playing together. So let's pretend that the wall is my friend, is my partner. So I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, bowling, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so high five with the wall. If you have a partner, you can high five with him or with her. And you have one point as a team, all right? Tennis, tennis is a game in which you need to put the ball into play. All right? So in order to, to uh, win the point, you have to learn first to be consistent. That means to always be under control of the game and always putting the ball inside the rectangle and going above the net. That's the main goal. The player that passes the ball the more, then that player has uh, the more chances to win. So thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed your class. See you, see you later in our next class. Bye.